Crystal always had a great spirit about her. She knew what she wanted. She went for it. About to jump out of a perfectly jump good airplane. Jump out of a plane. She could take care of herself. I did a punk out like a sissy girl. She was obviously very beautiful, very attractive, but there was something about her. She radiated light. I worked with Crystal as a flight attendant. She was definitely a goofball, and she would even describe herself as a dork. She kind of has like a gypsy soul, like she was a flight attendant, you know, she just likes traveling. I've been dating Crystal McDowell for a few weeks now. We'd both been divorced, and we knew exactly what we wanted. You know, when you first meet somebody and you're kind of on cloud nine, that's kind of how we were. Tropical storm Harvey is expected to strengthen into a hurricane before making landfall in Texas. Hurricane warnings in place along most of the Texas coast. Friday morning, uh, August 25th, is when she left the house. She was actually living with her ex-husband. She was living in the master bedroom downstairs, and he had moved into a bedroom upstairs. He had such a passion of love for her. It was almost like an obsessive, controlling love. She sent me a, a few text messages, and um, I replied back, but I never got a reply after that. So I thought maybe she was just preoccupied with getting ready for the storm. Across southern Texas, grocery store shelves are bare. People are rushing to stock up on last minute supplies. At that point in time, I just started trying to find relatives or friends to reach out to them to see if they knew where she was. And that's when I reached out to Jeff Walters. He's her uncle. I get messages from her every morning. I get messages all throughout the day. She's one of the most responsible people that I know. She never loses contact with us. Chambers County Sheriff's Office. It's my niece. OK, your niece. No one can get a hold of her. No one has heard from her. And I'm really concerned. It's a serious storm. It's going to last four or five days. And quite frankly, this is day, day one. This morning, police are searching for a Texas mother who mysteriously disappeared before Harvey hit. We are hampered by some of the flood issues, but we are as aggressive as ever trying to locate Crystal McDowell. I knew she wouldn't run away. She would never be that type of person. So that was... Would she have ever left her kids? No. Happy birthday to you. Automatically, as a sheriff, I know that mothers don't leave their children. And there's obviously never a good time for anybody to, to become missing. But the timing was terrible. Was there a part of you that it just went, it can't get any worse? Um, on more than one occasion. My gut tells me there's something catastrophically wrong with this scenario. By the time floodwaters receded, authorities believed one of three men knew where Crystal was. Got the boyfriend, got the ex-husband. Well, then the uncle was making such noise about everything, I started thinking about him. 21 months later, one would be on trial for murder.